Hello, good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to the Cinema of the German Film Institute and Film Museum. I'm very happy that so many of you came for a new uh, edition of our lecture and film series here in the Film Museum uh, this uh, year dedicated to Chantal Ackermann. And I'm extremely happy that we have uh, Claire Atterton here tonight with us. Uh, she'll be talking with uh, Mark Siegel. Uh, and they will be uh, talking a little bit before the film. Then we're going to screen the film desk. And uh, then we have a chance also to ask questions well we'll see how it goes in the first part if there are already questions that burning questions already in the first part we can already do that also before the film we'll see how it goes with the time so um, don't be afraid to ask questions use the chance that we have Claire here and um, yeah we're looking forward forward for your participation as well I don't want to keep it long so I will just like to ask to thank once again Claire for being here with us Mark for doing the, the talk with us and our partners uh, that make this um, series possible here in the Film Museum the Institute for Theater and Film and Media in the Goethe University uh, the Excellenzcluster Normative Ordnungen, and the Hessen Film und Medien Akademie, and um, of course the support of the Freunde der Universität and the Stadt Frankfurt and the DFG Graduating College Configuration in these films. As you all know, the whole program of the series is in this uh, brochure that you can find outside. It's also online on the website that we put up for this series, www.chantal-ackermann.de. Um, and you will also find there whenever we're showing other films that are not in the main series, like with the accompanying programs, we're going to have some more films in January, for example, on top of the films that are on the main program. So uh, do check out the, the program on the website of the Film Museum or on our website for the series. And I hope to see you all again um, in the next series as well. And please enjoy and welcome with me, Claire Etterton. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I just had a couple of things to say by way of introduction. Um, one of the exciting things about this exciting um, lecture and film series on um, the, the work of Chantal Ackerman is that we not only hear talks by people um, from a variety or with a variety of approaches to her diverse body of work, um, scholars um, for the most part, but also curators who've worked extensively on Chantal Ackerman. Um, and we also hear people who, from people who are approaching her films with a fresh eye. Um, but we have three special evenings throughout this series with um, people who have collaborated closely with Chantal Ackerman on the production of her work. In November, we heard from writer and filmmaker Eric de Kuyper. In April, we will host camera woman and filmmaker Babette Mangold. And tonight, of course, um, we're extremely honored that we're able to welcome Chantal Ackerman's longtime editor, Claire Atherton. Claire um, actually edited seven of the films that we're screening in this year-long series. She began working as an editor with Chantal Ackerman in 1986, on the, as far as I understand, on the filming of a stage play called Letters Home. Their collaboration extends to over 30 films and installations, including Ackerman's very first installation based on the film we'll see tonight, uh, the film Dest. And the installation for 24 monitors was called, or is called Dest au bord de la fiction, from the East, bordering on fiction. It was, as far as I understand, first shown at the Walker Art Center mm -mm. in Minneapolis in 1995, and then shown in numerous... In San Francisco, MoMA, at the same time. Uh, okay, well, right guess, after, yeah. Okay. And um, so since um, Claire Atherton has, has edited um, both uh, documentary and fiction films with Chantal Ackerman, as well as her work for installations, I think she can offer us great insight into Ackerman's working methods, into the unique construction of space and time in her films, as well as to the differences in editing practices for film and art contexts. In addition to Ackerman, Claire Atherton has worked as an editor on predominantly documentary films, um, projects by numerous other directors, including Chilean filmmaker Emilio Pacul, and uh, most recently, a uh, continuing collaboration with the artist Eric uh, Baudelaire. So um, we've already welcomed Claire Atherton, but I extend now once again my, my welcome to you. Um, thank yeah, you. you can, thank you. 
Claire, maybe we could um, start off just by talking about um, your practice with Chantal Ackerman. You could begin talking about um, how you came to work with Chantal Ackerman, how you came to start editing with her, if, if you find that. Yeah. It, it, um, in fact, um, what I think is very important to, to know um, before um, discovering Chantal's films, um, if there are some of you who discover tonight, is that uh, you don't have to know anything. That's the main thing, because I think that's really very important, because uh, very often uh, people think that they have to know, uh, that they have to understand, that they have to uh, have studied a lot of things to understand uh, some works, and especially her works. But uh, really, um, to, to get into Chantal's work and Chantal's film, you just have to be yourself and to be receptive uh, to what you see and what you hear. Um, Chantal was somebody who was very, very, very free. Uh, that means that she didn't have any rules of how you should do or how you should not do. Um, and she was really um, confident on what um, what would happen. Um, and she didn't know more uh, than she doesn't know more than you when she's making a film. She learns when she's doing the film, and she often discovers. Um, the the why the reason of the film or the reason why she made the film or or wrote the book at the end and and that's very very important because um that's makes uh, that what makes her work so alive it's not that she wants to say this and she goes to uh, find images that can prove that or that. She goes uh, to places because she's attracted by places and she wants uh, to feel and to film and to see and to listen. And then she captures things uh, with her camera and she comes back and she says, what can we do? So it's, it seems that then that would put um, a, lot of, um, a lot of emphasis on the role of editing to to make um, make some kind of sense or to help narrow down the possibilities um, of of what this work can be. Yes, it makes. Uh, uh, yes, it's true that it makes editing very important. But what it makes really very important is the viewer's work. Mm. I mean, this this fa the, the the way that she works that we used to work together. Uh, in this uh, way of not knowing exactly where we want to get, but just to want to hear what's going on and to listen what, to what's going on and to look at what's going on and to understand little by little. It's in this little by little that you uh, can, that, every, that we, everybody can find its own um, place, uh, mm -hmm, its own mm -hmm. space. Um, I, I like to insist on that because mm -hmm. I think it's uh, um, when people ask our method, I think uh, that's the most important thing about our method. The, th the fact you uh, uh, discover while doing it, it's that that makes uh, the, the work uh, that open and that uh, different for each of you. Uh, it's never closed on a particular message. It's always questioning and um it's facing us uh, i've been often asked if uh, chantal's work is political and uh, i feel uh, chantal's work is highly political but not because of the subjects that she's talking about it's just because the way she's talking about things is um a, putting us, uh, helping us to face ourselves and to face the world. To f and if we can face ourselves and question our way of being, we can f maybe question the world, the past, and also the future. Um, we are always uh, attracted to uh, um, 
it's always more comfortable to know where we're going. It's always more comfortable to say or to feel I'm going to go and see a documentary and then I'll understand what's what's going on in, in this in that country. But that's not the way um, that things can change. I think I really deeply think that if we can hope and I think we should hope or continue to hope that things can change one day, uh, it's not by understanding um, what's happening there and there only. It's just it's uh, by facing our way of receiving things and 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 questioning what the meaning of of uh, being human and living in this world. I'm going a bit, maybe a little bit far uh, uh, away from just talking about our methods, but. Um, because just when I arrived there, I, I I wasn't really, but it's my fault. I I didn't really know that we had a, uh, we would had have a, such a long um, period of time to talk before the film because I'm not used to that. Usually we just say a few words, and Chantal used to say I don't have to say anything before the screening. I just say bonne projection. <laughs> but since we have time, um, uh, I think it's uh, interesting to raise all those questions. Mm -hmm. And and um, maybe if 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 we could talk also about some of the specific ways that you that you, you said that Chantal then would be would be open. A part of in a sense the politics of of her work even goes back to her openness to to not knowing in advance how she would um, address a certain issue um, that she would um, take on a project, go look, listen, and put together images and sounds and come back. Um, with them and sit with you together? Would you sit together and edit together or would she then give give the work over to you and ask you to No, it would, we would all, always uh, sit together to, to look at the images. Uh, always look at everything. And uh, yeah, this, uh, what I want, just wanted to say, mm -hmm. but I, I don't think I'll forget that, is that b before, is that uh, I wasn't ready to, to uh, I didn't know that I, we had such, we would have such a long time to talk. And I think that the, 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 there is a, a danger about words. The words are dangerous and they are dangerous before a film also because I've, if now I am introducing Dest and I explain you what you have to understand in Dest, I think it's the w worst thing I could do. So um, that's why I want to open and and mm -hmm. uh, and it's linked to the, the answer I was just about to give about what we were saying and sharing while um, when we were discovering images. We would never say... Uh, um, um, what we want to show. She would never, she was never telling me um, uh, how to do things. We would only exchanging very simple words, such as really very, very simple, such as that's beautiful, or uh, it's too evident, or uh, it's um, strong, or it's, uh, how do you say, banal in... Uh, um, banal. Banal, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, uh, you know, things like, or this one is strong, or maybe we would we would give names to the images, like the green the green shot, or the white shot, or the man with the cigarettes, no, the na the woman with the cigarettes, that's from down there, Laba. Or in, in that, this, we had one shot, which we called, called the superb. Uh, I'll tell you after which, which one it is, if you want. But, or... Uh, you know things that are very colored. Yes, the green, the blue, uh, the 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 the, the, the um, movement with the snow, the storm. Really, very 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 simple, very image um, like mm -hmm. uh, words, and uh, and just uh, saying what sometimes what we feel uh, like if it's if it's moving or if it's. Uh, um, or if it's uh, not, it's weak or it's. Uh, Things really like that, and but we were just like m meeting um, the images, the plans, the shots, um, faire connaissance, um, mm -hmm. to, to get to know them, get to get to know them, or build a real relationships ship to to the the images and the the whole shots. It's like you know when you arrive somewhere, you don't know anybody, and everything seems so complicated because you don't know any face and. Uh, three four hours after you begin to know 
people and begin a relationship with them and you you know and you can a little more remember the feeling you had and it's exactly the same thing with images you really build and so after when you begin to build the film you remember of one image that you saw and, and you remember also that the feeling you had when you discovered it and you you try to put it next to another one and you see what happens and we were really talking about uh about uh, contrast, lights, uh, shocks, uh, uh, lines, um, colors, noises, um, um, tension. We were very often talking about tension. It's not ten tense enough, or uh, and uh, yeah, sometimes we we would say that there is a uh, we would say that there is a problem at at, at one point. It happened once, and Chantal liked very much to tell this story that we said at the same time that there was a problem, and I said it's too long, and she said it's too short. And Chantal mm -hmm. said, we agree, it just means that there is a problem, but we still don't know where it is. And by building like this, without knowing exactly what you want to say, you discover what she feels, and you discover again, and you get back to what is what attracts her to go there. Uh, um, when she went to a film Dest, um, in fact, she was very... Um, she, 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 she wanted to do something... She, wa she, she was interested in the, in the different languages of the East Europe. Uh, and at the same time, somebody asked her to do an artwork on this. But she wasn't really interested in doing art or, fi or film. For her, it was the same thing. And then she got the money to make the film. And then she made the film. But what... Yeah, I'm going too fast. Uh, she, she, she wanted... To, yeah, she was interested in, in the languages the different Eastern Europe languages and how they um, look a little bit alike. So it was something very um, uh, sensible, sensitive. Uh, it's not intellectual. At the same time, she felt that she had to go there uh, in Eastern Europe because uh, it was the end of something. But at the same time, she didn't want to uh, make a documentary about something that was going to end because she doesn't want to know exactly what she's looking for otherwise there is no suspense mm. and at the same time she went at, at that time she went to eastern europe and she felt something familiar but she didn't want at the same time to um, go to to look for her roots because that's also too much obvious to so she just went because she was attracted. But everything I told you before, the, the languages, the sound of languages, the, the, the fact that there was something finishing, the fact that, she, that it was familiar to her, the way that people uh, drink the tea, uh, dance, uh, all this was familiar to her. And she wanted to film uh, faces, uh, uh, people walking, people dancing, people eating, snow, rain, windows. She wanted to, but all this um, had. And uh, when when she comes back with the images, the images are full of all the desires. It's just that she doesn't want to explain and know exactly the reasons why she wants to do it. If you know too well the reason why you do things, there is no desire anymore. It's, it's, too, it's cut. That's a big problem we have today. Each time young people, I'm very happy that there are many young people here and, and to see the film, uh, because m m when young people want to make films now, uh, even not young people, but uh, when people want to make films now, uh, they you are asked to know exactly what you want to do, what you want to uh, say, and why. And the, 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 just the question why, it breaks everything. M me, it's the worst question that a filmmaker can ask me when I'm editing. Why did you do this? 
I don't know. I just do it. And when I do it, if you trust something which is happening between us here, there, something will happen. If it doesn't happen, it's not the right, I, it's not, the, I did not do the right gesture. Y you can't know everything. You can't, um, it's, it, that's life. If you want to control everything, art is not possible. And, uh, well, do you have another question? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, actually, I do. Um, the, 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 the kind of method that you're, if I can call it a method yeah, that, you're, yeah. that you're describing, um, seems to me um, to make a lot of sense for documentary. Um, but you also, mm -hmm. like we saw Le Captif, we saw Amayer's Folly, um, would um, Chantal work similarly there, where it's a kind of searching for the images? How how would you how would you edit together? Um, well, it wasn't works? that different. It's different, of course, because there is something which is written. But at the same time, I have I have this uh, uh, beautiful story about the Folie and Maillard when he, she she wanted to. Uh, you, you did see it or not? That was yeah the first film in the okay. series. Okay. So, so uh, you, you remember there was a, there, there was a, um, a a scene in the harbor, in the in this film, and I was with Chantal before the the the, the shooting. The boat, the light yeah. in the beginning. No, not this one. A big harbor. Um, mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm sure. I yeah, at night. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's and and. Um, and um, the, the, I was with Chantal when, when she was uh, preparing the shooting and she had a phone call from her assistant asking, asking her if she wanted a big or a small harbor. And she said, I want a big harbor. Okay. And then a few days later, and we were going to have a lunch and she had another phone call from the same guy saying, I don't know who it was. I don't want to, I, I'm not pointing anybody. I mean, I don't know if it's his assistant. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But he said, um, are you sure you want a big harbor? Because um, if it was a small harbor, maybe it would be more cute and more familiar. And and why do you want a big harbor? And she was so um, um, angry. She said, I just want a big harbor. That's it. Don't ask me why. I want a big harbor. When I'll get the big harbor, I'll shoot in the big harbor. And then I know why. And it's really true. I mean, she... At the same time, she she's uh, well known as a filmmaker uh, whose work is very um, maîtrisé. Um, like mastered. Yeah, it's a always difficult to translation to find because it's it doesn't seem to be uh, like uh, it could be like this and it's like mm -hmm. that and it could be uh, mm -hmm. differently. It's uh, it's like it's mm -hmm. very decided. Mm -hmm. in, but it's not decided. It comes from really uh, deep, uh, mm -hmm. uh, profound. And that's what makes it so strong. Because mm -hmm. there is something you can't do differently. You can't... I mean, yes, I'm... It's it's all the question about the cre the creation in editing mm -hmm. because uh, so I can imagine that you can maybe wonder would the films be different if you if somebody else ha would have edited them, well I don't know because for for me um, the thing the the work we did together is is the work we had to do uh, and and it's the f the 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 relationship between the film her and me that made the film. Mm -hmm. I'm going very far from the captive no, and no. the fi feature films. No, it's just to, uh, the, but the, for the work uh, on the on the f uh, fiction films, it's of course a little bit different. But it doesn't. Um, it's the, the the relationship to the matière, mm -hmm. uh, which material, is material, yeah. yes, but alive material. In French, uh, matière is m alive. It's like uh, wood, or it's more uh, material is like. Um, well, that's but the relationship to the the the, the matter, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, is is still very uh, strong of uh, 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 the 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 um, the fact that we have to the tension, the work mm -hmm. on the tension, the work on the on the on the rhythm, the work on the contrasts, the work mm -hmm. on the sound that uh, uh, the sound that goes uh, st strong all of a sudden and goes uh, well, because it's it's not only the, the, it's that the problem is that we always think that it's only the script that tells the story. Mm -hmm. So if if there is no script that you so you think that we still tell the story in 
editing, which is the documentary. And, and if there is a script, it's feature film. So it's the uh, script that tells the story. But it's not only the script mm -hmm. that tells the story. The rhythm tells the story very much. Mm -hmm. And that's what we too much forget, because uh, sometimes we think that uh, f uh, films that don't have script, don't have stories, or it, that they have, the, the f some films, some people say, are contemplative. I don't like very much this word because there is al always uh, a story told. Mm -hmm. A story, there are many kinds of stories. And um, so, some people in editing think that we can, uh, that it's possible to uh, to decide to, of, uh, the structure of the film and then at the end work on the rhythm. But for me, it's just it's just impossible. It's when you build the rhythm that you uh, get to uh, have a contact with the film, and that you build the story, and and that you create the narration. When I say story, maybe it's more narration than story. It's I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, in in French, histoire is kind of open world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And would would you so would you have discussions with Chantal before a film project? Um. Yes, but it's not. Um, um, yes, it's that it's, it's funny because the word discussion it doesn't okay. fit really. But no, no, because I don't really imagine Chantal and me having a discussion. But <laughs> it's just it's funny. Would Some, you? Um, would you like, no, no, use words? It's, <laughs> of course. No, no, but but no, no. But we 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 were discussing it very much. But uh, I don't know if we had. Um, she was yeah. She was talking to me about what what were her desires. Mm -hmm. uh, and and what attracted her to to go there, and what was important to her in this story or this book mm -hmm. for the La Folie and Maillard, she would yeah, and she was telling me what she was looking for. Um, and she, she was very much focused on the story of the father for La, La Folie and Maillard. She was always talking about the father, mm -hmm. but it was like obsessive. Mm -hmm. The father and the love of a father. It's, it was, and after the film goes some, somewhere else, but she was, yeah. and, but when I say it's not discussion, really, it's, it means it was, I was a little bit joking, but it's, it's, it wasn't, she was never like saying, well, I have an idea um, about that. Uh, what, how could I do it? What do you think about, uh, because it's like if everybody can give his, I, I know I'm not everybody for her, but it's, it's just like if talking like that is dangerous. It has you have to protect mm -hmm. something so you you talk about a desire and you it's like it, it's like a, when you talk about a love story to your friends you like talking but you don't like to have too much their opinion even if if your best friends because it's your it's it's your um it, it's your feeling it's your uh it's you're running and she was running to the mm -hmm. films and then mm -hmm. she and she knows that i was uh, trusting her and mm -hmm. so she 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 liked very much my presence but i didn't say uh, or maybe it would be it would be great uh, if you had a small uh, um, harbor in, instead of a big one because I just wanted her to go uh, as far as she could uh, to follow her intuition and that that's would would make the images strong mm -hmm. so um, and and would there be a difference then in the amount of footage that you had to deal with in a, like a documentary like Dest I could imagine that she would do a lot of shooting. Not that much. It was no? shot in 16 millimeters, you know, mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. not like a today uh, shooting. Right, right. No, I don't really remember. I've been asked several times. I don't remember, but it was not, it's, it's not, it's not that much. I would say like maybe 20 hours or... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in relation to a fiction film, would there be a, any kind of significant difference in the way... It depends on what fiction films also, because for for example, The Couch in New York, I don't know if you show no, this one. Yeah. Chantal was the kind of person when she was shooting even in f feature films, if she thought it was good, she the, a scene, she wouldn't f film another one. Mm. I mean, another take. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
in, and uh, in fact, when we met, we met uh, when um, by when we were. Um, I was a video technician, and uh, I had to go with her to film a, a, a play, a theater play, uh, just to hold the material, uh, the video equipment for her. And when we get got into the theater. Um, it was a play with Delphine Serig and her niece, Coralie Serig, uh, based on the Sylvia Plath's uh, um, writings. And uh, when when uh, the camera was ready, um, I was uh, ready to focus because uh, at the first I was working an image. And two or three minutes after the beginning of the play, she told me, uh, you film, I'll focus. I'm not well installed. You go. I was 21 years old, so I didn't really have time to be... Um, to feel the fear or anything, I just went there and I just filmed. And each time I was folk, I was going uh, closer to to Delphine or to Coralie. She was about to tell me to do so. So it was like a meeting, a very, very, very strong meeting in in the process of filming something for the TV, because it was for the TV. But well, the the, the rest is not very important. And then after that, uh, so she said she really wanted to work with me. She. And she didn't know anything about me. Um, she didn't never ask for any diploma or anything. It was, she just felt what she, she just trusted what she was feeling uh, with people or with images or with situations. And this uh, uh, way of being so uh, confident in the present made her work so strong and open because when you're receptive to presence, it can echo with the past and it, go, it can talk of, of, of of about the future and and uh, so uh, and uh, 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 um, uh, um, a few years later she made a real film um, uh, with the letters home she really refilmed it um, and I edited it was the f first uh, long movie I edited with her uh, so that was two years after in 86. The first shooting was 84. And between that, we did some short movies, not very well known, some lost and um, in video. And I, we were editing. It was we were editing um, without uh, the possibility of, of correcting because it was video editing. Uh, so we can we couldn't go. We, we were going beginning at the beginning and we couldn't uh, correct go back and correct. So we have to decide everything. And we were looking at the, the takes of the shots of the scenes with Delphine or Coralie. And sometimes we felt the, sh the shots were good. And we said, OK, we use this one. And we didn't look at the others, which is now when you imagine that, it seems completely impossible. Because now we always want to be sure sure of our decisions so we have to argue to to uh, with ourselves and that's very dangerous because we don't f do we trust uh, ourselves anymore and i think that the the real uh, profound link that was uh, between Chantal and me is that i was very much uh, in interested and much more than interested, involved in, in Chinese philosophy and Taoism and Chinese language. And I didn't really know, I didn't really, really realize the relationship between Chinese and the oldest Chinese culture and Chantal and, and, and editing. But a, a few years after, I, uh, many years after, I thought about how things got together. And in, in fact, Chinese language is the association of images that create signification, which is exactly editing. And, and in Taoism and in Chinese um, philosophy, there is a very uh, important... Uh, um, 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 the, 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 the emptiness is very important and the, the fact that the Tao is something that is always uh, becoming it's not uh, uh, it's not fixed it's not a fixed aim it's always becoming so uh, you have to have this vacuity this emptiness to be always in, 
in in ready to feel and ready to receive and ready to transform and that's the thing that really uh, linked us together because um, we were we 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 had this same uh, desire and even more than desire it was like an, a need mm -hmm. to uh, to uh, build uh, space and, and 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 of course time because time and space is linked mm -hmm. Um, to 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 um, to make the, the 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 work talk to everybody differently and 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 have a, a real impact on on the on the on the viewer. Maybe since you bring up time time and space um, and working with time and space, it would interest me. We've talked a little bit about how you would how you would work with Chantal on documentary films, a little bit on fiction, but but you not only edit um, edited. Um, the work for her first film installation, but you also, as we were talking, your Chantal insisted that you be credited not just as editor but as spatialisten or something as as like the person who who works with her to spatialize um, the the installation, so that you you were um, very crucial to the actually to the concept of an, of, of an installation of installing of thinking how mm. space and time can move beyond the frame. And engage with a, a broader room. Could could you talk about that? Yes. Thought about differences. If yeah, it's, but, it's in fact uh, the first installation that Chantal made was uh, with this film. As I told you a little bit when uh, when I told you what uh, attracted her to go and film in the Eastern Europe, uh, and in, in fact, what happened is that she made the film uh, because the money came before for the film than for the installation, and then after, um, because she didn't really want to, uh, she didn't really know what it was uh, to to uh, to make an art piece. She said she didn't know anything about art. This art stuff, she said. Mm -hmm. I don't, it's just that, uh, why not? A museum asks me something, why not? And then they didn't find the money, uh, but they, they, she had money to make the film, so she made the film before. And then once we made the film, she said, well, now come back and we'll make the installation. So how, how are we going to make an installation? We didn't know. So we just thought that um, we had to work um, um, differently because until then uh, we had worked on associating images or putting images one in sound one after each other and it provoked uh, links and echoes and and signification and feelings and well that was what we were used to doing t together and then we said maybe we have to um work in the same way but try to see what provokes one image next to another one so we tried to do that we put two monitors and we put we took uh, parts of the film and try to uh, see how it was echoing together and very uh, quickly we realized that two images uh, didn't it was too much one and two and so it's like more uh, like if it was a question and an answer it was too too simple so we added a third one and very quickly we 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 were we were very impressed by what was happening when we we had those three images of desk next to each other with this sound so I, I would put the sound a little bit more up and more down to see how it would um, create the differences and 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 finally we we uh, managed to create one uh, triptych of three images of four minutes and then we said maybe we can do a second one and then uh, and then we did the second one and I filmed the first one and we were looking the first one next to the second one you see like uh, like uh, very much bricolage yeah I don't know the word in English. It's a bricolage. Well, uh, it was very like yes, homemade, very much homemade. That's what she loved about uh, installation. It's always homemade. We were mm -hmm. always we didn't depend on any studios or anything. We would do everything at home. Mm -hmm. That's uh, for it. I I um, make a little jump to your last um, 
uh, séance, comment on dit yeah, um, Evening. A evening, which is No Home Movie, because the first title of No Home Movie was Home Movie, because Chantal wanted to make a film that was not very pretentious. Um, she didn't want a title like La Duo Langage. She said that what, that was too pretentious for yeah, her, but she loved language. she loved uh, Godard. Godard hein, mm -hmm. But she said not like that. It's too pretentious. I want a very simple title for this home movie that we did at home, so I'll call it home movie. So it was called home movie for a long time, and sometime at one point somebody told us but you know home movie is this new thing that you have with 5.1 at home and you see like home cinema and she said what's that okay so no home movie that's even better because it's more <laughs> i don't have any home anyway so it's no home movie that's how the title came so you see how it it was like very much linked to chance and what was ha happening right now and then it had It has so much signification and profound signification, mm -hmm. this title, No Home Movie, and, uh, and, and it's her last film. It's crazy when you think about it. It's her last film, and the title came like this. Mm. And, uh, and when she found also the title um, the, uh, of her installations in the, uh, Anvers, it was too far, too close. And, and I remember there was um, two installations, uh, Tombe de Nuit sur Shanghai, Night Falling in Shanghai, and, and La Chambre, I think. I don't remember the, the other one or Femme d'Anvers. And, and, and there was a curator coming at home and, and he said, and he said, and what's the title? And, uh, and she said, well, there is a, a, this one which is very far and, well, too, too far, too close. Okay, is it good? <laughs> But we're really in, in, in two seconds. But it doesn't, it, 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 but things like that can happen if you, if you create a, a, an ambience, um, a atmosphere in which they can happen. I mean, in editing. And, also, and, and for me, it's, uh, the atmosphere is in editing. For her, for her creation, it was like uh, to be in, um, very much in link with the present. That's why I, I'm very much focusing on this presence. It's to be there the moment you're here and things happen. That's why also I don't... I, I always bring a lot of paper because it seems very serious and I'm very... Uh, but I, I don't prepare anything because if I have... If I have an idea of what I want to say, when I try to say it, there's nobody behind the words, so it, it's like boring. Welcome to, to the academy. <laughs> That's <laughs> our daily life, the boredom of people speaking or there's nothing behind the words, bodiless scholarship. Um, <laughs> it's a problem. Okay, but maybe I just ask one, one last question, um, which is uh, um, you also work with other filmmakers and the way yeah. you've I know that that your work with Chantal is is the most consistent is so extensive it, it, over 30 years of, of collaboration but um, as we're hearing you had um, an incredible bond together an incredible um, um, uh, symbiosis in your working method um, and I'm interested in how it is for you working with someone like Eric Baudelaire or with other filmmakers Do you do you work in the same way? Do they do they want to work with you because of of this incredible work you've done with Chantal, and therefore they want you to work? Th they they respect that way of working. They want to be there with you and look through every and and decide on every shot together or every edit together. But I didn't um, I didn't finish uh, at the beginning because we we were always w looking at every image together, but we were not editing always together. We were just mm -hmm. discovering the rushes together, and then she was there and not there. Sometimes uh, she was cooking. Sometimes she was on on the phone. After uh, at, uh, a few years, um, a long time ago, she was li reading Liberation, and and a few years ago, she was on Facebook. You know that times. <laughs> no, but she was always there and not there at the same time. You know, she had to. Um, she couldn't stay there always and. <laughs> Just uh -huh. walking and uh -huh. go. That's why she liked to be at home, and mm. she was. Uh, and but she just she came and she looked and she said the right word and the word that would the word that would just helping me and to see again because the thing that if if you always together and you always um, um, if, if if you. Uh, 
uh, decide together what you're going to to do. So it's uh, it's not very interesting because it's like if you find you 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 end up uh, trying to find solutions, which mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. exactly in editing, you have to avoid looking for solutions. If you s feel that you're looking for a solution, there is a problem. So you're not in the right direction. It's not a solution. You find the me you look for a, a, a profound meaning, not for a solution to get this possible. So, and if you are together, it's you're more like, how is it going to be possible? So uh, Chantal had in herself this way of being there and not there at the, mo at the same mm -hmm. moment. She never looked at the timeline, never, never, never. It's not interesting for her. And she was really v always very much focused on the on what was going on in the in the in the in the um, in the film itself. Mm -hmm. So in the monitor on the right side of the uh, the editing table, never on the and so. Um, I would sometimes try ch three, four uh, uh, shots, and then she would uh, look and say, "Oh, oh, yes, uh, maybe this one's shorter." And why do don't we try after to go there? And, and then she would leave again. You know, it's like that. So sometimes in one hour we could we could we could edit eight minutes, and after for two days it was like Ugh. we were just talking, looking at ad again at images, and w that's the way it was. Um, and th what was very important, this and ritual, is was the the, the screenings of the film uh, in 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 process of editing. Uh, when we every morning, not every but always in the morning, we were looking the film in its uh, state of the moment, and we were exchanging about uh, when it was strong, uh, when it was too long, when it was you know how we could shape it more. Uh, so that was w with Chantal the way of of working. Um, now, when how I work with other people, it, uh, it's true that uh, the, the the other uh, um, filmmakers I'm I'm working with it are um, interested in, in this way of working, and they they want to uh, uh, be surprised. Uh, uh, about what they did and rediscover what they did differently. Mm. Uh, Eric Baudelaire is somebody who's very, uh, very, very organized. His, mm. well, he films, um, films, uh, he films uh, in a very organized way, um, and he he's waiting f for me to to disorganize. And I always, when I get his rushes, I have to. Uh, um, Comment dire ranger? Class, rearrange them uh, differently because I want to forget uh, uh, all the dates and all the places. I want to be more uh, discovering, like if it was anywhere or any, especially for the last film, also known as Jihadi, it was like a, a very um, almost. Um, 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 on the, um, I don't find even the word in French, but very, very, too, very almost uh, too much organized. I don't find the word, but um, and I had to uh, to get uh, to get to to. Um, have more links and sensitive links to the mm. to the, but that's what he was waiting uh, he from me really. Mm -hmm, that's what mm -hmm. he wanted. Uh, well, it's it's it, it's difficult to to talk uh, too much about the others uh, yeah, tonight. Yeah. No, yeah, I think, I, but maybe um, we probably should come to an end now. But we'll um, we will just we will have a little break before the screening, and then we'll be back after the screening to talk more and possibly even to look at other things. But um, is there anything you want to say <laughs> before Dest? <laughs> Um, nothing. I said a lot already. <laughs> bon projection. <laughs> yeah, bon yeah. projection. Yeah. Okay. Please join me in thanking Claire Atherton. Thank you. Welcome back, Claire Atherton. <laughs> um. <laughs> How did you begin editing this footage? I just think that we, it, it, it seemed that we started in East Germany. So I started wondering, is there, was there, was there geographical 
um, coordinates? Was there an attempt to to look through um, to to like we well to to try to organize in some sense? It seems that there was not really an attempt to to make a clear sense of this is the Ukraine, this is um, the Soviet Union, former Soviet Union, this is the GDR. But I, I was interested in just if you could talk about how you began to um, to start with the footage and to organize um, just like the first images and how you would start put things together. Did you did you begin at the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yes, because um, in fact, we always uh, began with the beginning. It's like uh, if if uh, you, you you there is nothing and and then you put something, and and it creates um, it's like a first step and you can climb on the first step and then it opens a space, and and more you um, um, put images uh, together and more there is time edited, and more the film grows and more it. It, it helps you to find its own way. It's like uh, uh, it, it, the film helps you. It's it's um, and since I, I I want to have the same uh, temporality as the film, so I I follow his um, his his uh, own rhythm. Um, I've been asked recently if there is a if if. If uh, I f I feel loneliness in editing, it's a difficult question because sometimes loneliness can help you to think, because you, it's like if you were in a space which is be beyond the words. So maybe in that sense you can feel loneliness, but um, it's a relationship um, with the film it, it, itself. In fact, how how we begun di this film, Dest, I I don't really remember the fir the first uh, image um it's it's too far away but uh it it's true that it's uh, it it was uh, obvious that it uh, we would begin with the the sun and the beach and go further um to the the to moscow and and the snow i don't know it was like an evidence Probably because it was this, this, this. We were following Chantal's uh, um, movement in 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 the shooting, but maybe I'll, I'll just ask one more question, and then we'd love to open it up immediately for comments, questions from the audience. Um, it's a film, like many of Chantal's films, where where one is acutely aware of the passing of time. Um, it's, it's, it almost forces us, I feel like, back to our, our, our um, place of, of, of watching, of being aware, where we, we, the kind of movement in this direction, the movement in that direction, the kind of depth, but it's, it's a, it's a, um, I, I mean, it's beautiful, a stunning film. I, I left out those those comments, but I'm I'm really I'm fascinated by how it forces us back to to the time of watching, waiting. Um, could you say something about about um, kind of working with time of of, of putting together images sequences that. Um, that are are challenging because because we 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 lose I mean we we can't lose ourselves in a sense. Some of the images are are just stunningly beautiful, and I just lost like one of very early on of on the left side. There's trees on the road, a bunch of people walking into the distance. On the right side, the trees are only halfway, and it's just unbelievably mysterious and. And moving and stunning, and I'm I'm in the image somehow. But it's also long. Um, it, I don't, so I'm interested in, in the construction of time. In but it's it's uh, it's difficult to talk about that because it's not a decision uh, uh, to uh, it, it, we have to uh, leave time. But it's like if um, uh, it's. Um, 
it's the, 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 the when you look at something uh, at the beginning it's 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 um, when you look at the image at the beginning the image shows what it shows it's a tree and it's a street mm -hmm. or a road mm -hmm. and after a, a certain moment it's it goes over this tree this road and 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 it brings you um, um, in another in another time of it's not only this street and this this road and and that's the work that we uh, we, we were experiencing something uh, mm. like that mm -hmm. but it is it's very difficult to say because as I told you before we were not talking that much we did never said something like that just said for example mm -hmm. we were just um, feeling that it was too short or uh, too, too long and that sometimes we were feeling that we didn't um, it, we didn't fall the right way on the next uh, three or four shots after on the on the on the on the following image because there was something too long before or things like that uh, but uh, yeah there is this 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 word that you you uh, said is about beauty which is um, um, in fact important word i think mm -hmm. it's uh what is beauty and what 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 is uh what can we do with beauty it's uh um i think that um the, the beauty of a, of an image is 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 something that um appears when when you uh, accept not to um um not to uh explain it and and to respect its mister mis mystery is it's like um in fact it is it's like the mysteries of of uh, of uh, human of of the fact of being uh, human mm -hmm. of, to, of being alive it's like a, 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 a the Andrea Picard, we were talking about her. She's a, a film uh, curator in Toronto, and she she um, asked a certain um, a certain people when she was directing the Festival of the Real last year, uh, what is uh, le réel? What is real? W which is very difficult question is it's it's uh, you get mad if you just ask yourself what's real and i think what's real it's it's you are facing reality and uh, if you are accepting something which is mysterious mm -hmm. um, so there is this beauty and this mystery and also something very 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 simple in chantal's images mm -hmm. and very and a very uh, deep tenderness each time I see this film, I feel that this tenderness is there. There is this um, um, horror and and fright and something frightening and something difficult and also tenderness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like um, in 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 Chinese poetry, they they to express um, the the feelings of of somebody, they never uh, use uh, words like uh, sadness or tenderness or love or uh, they use um, words uh, who dis which describe. Uh, um, um, uh, they use colors or uh, jade, for mm -hmm. example, or uh, they 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 use really um, words who describe a physical thing, and that are linked to emotions. They don't um, try to describe emotions. And sometimes I feel there is a relationship with this uh, kind of of uh, work with Chantal with this film, for example. It's just, she doesn't point at emotions. She just. Uh, works with um, uh, the the physicality of 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 of, of life of, of reality, which which is linked to emotions and linked to uh, history. Thank you. Um, there's a comment already in right in the back. If you could wait a moment for the microphone, that would be great. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you again for this beautiful film. And um, um, I don't know how often I saw it, but now again I was f felt confirmed that it's for me mostly about uh, dirty snow. 
And um, Dirty Snow, <laughs> Dirty Snow, whether it's wet or frozen, it's for me kind of a film about that. And yet, although I um, 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 associate with it uh, the wideness uh, of space, even if the camera is in a tracking shot very close to people outside waiting for, I don't know, a streetcar, whatever, um, uh, there's there are some special breaks, and that is in my view is uh, the indoor shots shots to if, if you watch people sitting at a table um, playing a, a cello or dancing or so so where you have a kind of way but it, it seems much more like even though it's uh, anonymous uh, it seems like you pick out some people or so it's it's different even though the people when you have the tracking shot uh, uh, along the lines of people you are very close to them for for example in the in the dancing scene or so or if, or this one dancing scene um, uh, you seem much more uh, close to the people uh, than outside or so and I was wondering I, I felt always that, that that it was a break when you go in this kind of uh, indoor spaces more than if you cut from the beach to the snow or so uh, and I felt it, it must I mean I, 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 I think it, it worked for me it worked for me but I think it must have been very difficult to to uh, to make those kind of compositions yeah, but it's uh, the, the 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 your last word is is interesting because I feel it's a kind of a composition like in music, because it in com in music you, you in composition the this word you you, you really um, it's it it's like putting things together and see how it 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 comes out. It's like um and and it's it's either a composition or it's sometimes it's uh, it can be compared also to as something. Uh, uh, choreographic it's um it's not uh, a linearity so uh, so when you when you edit one image and another one and the third one and the fourth one it's maybe it's on the sixth one or the seventh one that the, the links will be made and the uh, the resonance will arrive um so th yeah it's, um but i don't know if i answer and i, I don't really know if there was a question actually <laughs> no that's okay. Uh, comments are welcome. <laughs> uh, I was going to say uh, something similar to my predecessor, and I try to uh, say it again in other words. Uh, what always uh, strikes me most with this film is the contrast between the exteriors and the interiors. Uh, uh, the exteriors are shown from an outsider's point of view, uh, whereas the interiors have an intimate uh, quality to them because they are tableau-like, uh, uh, composed, very composed, uh, much composed shots, um, maybe with the people waiting in, in the streets or in the uh, station halls as a visual link. Uh, but uh, there is this very different... Uh, quality about these two kinds of shot shots, uh, which um, must have been a, con a conscious decision during filming already, and certainly uh, during the editing process. It, it depends on what you call a conscious decision. It's it's true that uh, it's uh, it's it's more um, a desire than a decision. I think uh, it's really when I was talking before the screening about the family, f something familiar. That's very important. I think that uh, Chantal recognized um, in in the the way that the the, the those women are sitting. Uh, or the, this man is eating. She recognized something of her, her, um, of her, um, the, the the people she was uh, used to see uh, when she was a kid, or uh, of her family. Is this 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 some so, so there is a, a, um, a very much love in this way of looking of of hers for for, for me for um, look. Um, the way she looks at those people, 
in my opinion. I, 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 I feel it very strongly. Um, after it's, uh, yes, it's, I mean, no, it's not really a conscious decision. It's just when, when as as an editor uh, working with Chantal, I see the the, the exterior uh, shots and the tracking shots and 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 I remember them and I know there are those those indoors uh, images and. I try. I begin to edit, and all of a sudden, I feel I want to go inside. So I put one image of inside. So is it that a conscious decision? I don't know. What? What? It's yeah. It's a. It's it's more a, a, ge a just a, a movement than a decision. Because when it's a d decision, you know the difference. It's a decision. You have to think, and you have to ask yourself it's a, if it's a good decision, you know, and. and and very often in 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 our lives, uh, the big decisions, important decisions, you don't think that much. When you begin to think very very much, it's because you hesitate very very much. You don't you're not really able to take the right decision. I think some really I I have this feeling. Even people who have uh, I mean I'm I don't want to. Uh, I'm, I'm quite serious, but when I say when, when when we are having children, we don't ask ourselves it's a good decision. It's just um, it's just we are having children. If we thought think too much, maybe we sh wouldn't have, because the world is difficult because this and because that and be you know it's like it's uh, it, those those decisions are not really um, conscious decisions. I think. It's more profound, more deep than that. It's same kind of. It's just it, I don't I don't say that it's the same, but it's the um, same kind of movement. I uh, I have a technical question. Um, I very much enjoyed the film, and I found the calmness very striking and uh, very pleasing. And I wondered how you approach the sound of the scenes because I didn't always, uh, I couldn't always match the sound to the image, but it didn't matter really. But I was struck by how calm it was. Maybe you can say something about the sound. Yeah, but we we did we did uh, there is a uh, some um, uh, bruitage. Uh, sound uh, bruitage is like is that the person who does the sound no no it's no, uh, it's like just noise um, it's uh, when you do the the, the sound after like ah post production foley's? sound editing no yeah like foley's or sound foley's or sound effects no it's uh, some some of the um, for example from f some of the footsteps in in the snow Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 they are not real. They are made mm. after by a ah. man who was uh, doing the brutage. Ah, okay. F Foley, I think. Okay. Yeah. Because um, all um, it's um, at the same time it's it's uh, people that we don't know, so they're, they're this uh, anonymous, and that, uh, and the the fact that we hear the, the footsteps in the snow, it makes them more close to you. And it's uh, so it's not uh, realistic, um, and and sometimes the yeah the sound is not synchronized because it 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 is it's a material that we've worked on also uh, there is the the material of image of sound and of of uh, of time and of sound of course and that's uh, yeah something I'm I'm happy that you mentioned that because the sound of this film is yeah is very important for me yeah. Perhaps to add to that, I was even asking Claire before um, that the film really doesn't have subtitles because there are some parts where uh, perhaps uh, one would expect that there's being said something and it could be subtitled, right? And I wanted to make sure that, and it really, when you watch the film, it's part of this soundscape that it's not really um, important what is being said, even though I am a little curious to say what there's, I can't understand what they're saying, but. Um, it's interesting how it work. It mixes into this uh, general soundscape, and I would imagine that for Chantal was also more about the sound of the language than about the words that are being said. Or yes. Like, yes. Um, yeah. May I ask about one? There's one 
moment that stuck out, uh, I mean, there are lots of wonderful moments, but, but one moment of an interior where we saw that woman um, listening to the record player, putting on a record. Oh, yeah. And, then, and then, then you see her in the next shot, like cutting mm -hmm. like a salami and bread. And it seemed to me like the only time or one of the only times, to me, the only time that we... Well, one well, that we also got a character in two shots, like one right after another, like one of the interior characters. They seem to be more like portraits, kind of one-offs. But here there was some sense of continuity, um, like the kind of Jean Dillman moment of her in the kitchen. Um, but I could was this was that important to you? Was was there any reason why this um, this well, this woman got it, two it, shots? No, not really. I, I, I like this because I don't like uh, uh, something which is uh, systematic. Mm. So uh, I, I like that there is this... this yeah, uh, yeah. Um, but also um, um, uh, it's a different uh, relationship to time because she puts the music and then she goes to another room and so there is uh, this uh, el ellipse. Yes. And, and, and so um, it... it, it it's it's really uh, difficult to describe each time. It's so difficult to describe the work of editing. But if you see the film, because to to decide if you leave the two shots or if you leave only one shot, we see the film from the beginning. I don't remember for this particular uh, because it was ninety four. How um, much time is it? Yeah, ninety four is um, twenty four years ago. Yes. 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 <laughs> But but uh, I I know that each time um, we we would take out a a, 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 a a shot, we would see the film again from the beginning and see how it it, it what it builds after, and I, I guess that we tried without with only one mm -hmm. and that it was like kind of poor or um, mm -hmm. I don't know it didn't it didn't do anything it's just like. I don't remember, but I know the the process, yeah, and yeah. the process is uh, go to what you feel, and then take a distance, and then look, and then try to understand, to feel, and to understand, and then if something is not good, correct. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. the the and that's why we was important to have rituals so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some for like for example like see the film in the morning in good shape uh, i mean in good shape we because <laughs> we were both in better shape in the morning than the evening well today it's okay but <laughs> usually i'm tired at night Chantal was tired much earlier than me mm -hmm. but um um and 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 uh and also, um, some the place where we were going to eat, or the fact that we uh, wanted a special way of uh, putting the the computer, and uh, the the fact that we didn't often we didn't want to see the uh, the uh, comment dire accord the, uh, the the three shots we put together right away. Just we we stop for five minutes or and or for me I had I have and I still have it the the um, the need to go and walk even go and walk in the in the same uh, room but walk and go look at the window or you know take it um, take a distance with what you do because otherwise uh, you don't have any more relationship to the images and you don't feel anymore. And it was a uh, it was easier to have to keep this uh, relationship to images and to respect this time of creation with the thirty five millimeters editing because it took time to do things with the computer it is not it's uh, immediate it's you click and it's done and so this this time has to be worked also the way you work it also uh, uh, shapes the film. Okay. Question in the back. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the movie. It was really nice. Um, and I have a practical question. Um, like, I wonder, did you speak with the people before you uh, 
take the movie like uh, okay we're gonna make a movie uh, is it okay for you because I was wondering because some people were like watching some were like smiling some were hiding um, yeah how was the connection with the people no, like so outside of the street yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, the f first just to be precise I wasn't at the shooting uh. Ah, okay. No, 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 okay. no. But no problem. I can answer. But I, uh, I'm just editing, so I'm not in the shooting process, and that's important for me not to be there all the time. But s still, for your question, no, she didn't tell anybody. She just came with a big car, and began to shoot. And it's it wasn't the same uh, time as now. I think yeah, that yeah. wouldn't be really possible now. It's um, the relationship to images is different also now. Um, yeah, the question is of the if the people in the interior scenes were actors. No, Did, there are not actors. There are people, but uh, actors. No, are no, not I'm people. not joking. No, <laughs> there are people, but they act. Uh, they act in a certain way. So she probably asked them if she could come into their apartments. Yeah, it was a way. Yeah. Yeah, but the, 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 they might be. Uh, I'm I'm saying that, but they they might be maybe one one or two who are uh, actors. Maybe I think maybe the 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 woman which is uh, on front of the uh, white um, curtain. I think. But I'm not sure, and I didn't know when I was editing. It's things that I heard after. Yeah. Uh, what was your... Yeah, that I they, don't have the a, look... I, I don't have a question. No, but you said <laughs> they, they were looking next to the camera. But Yeah, but um, um, Chantal had... I'm sure Chantal yeah. asked them to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a, in a very particular way also, because uh, uh, very often when people uh, uh, look... Um, next to the camera or up, uh, up, up the camera, it's you. F you feel like it's weird, and there it's like it creates an um, interaction with us. I feel. Yeah, no, because you said the, it was not consciously made the decisions about, like, yeah, you said so it was more movements, but I felt in the interior pieces, she did it by. Uh, intention to make the people not look into the camera directly. Somehow. Yeah, but it's and the scenes outside. People would mm -hmm. immediately look at the camera often because they they are surprised or they're curious. So this difference seemed very conscious more than. Yes, no, but it, when I say it's not conscious, it doesn't mean that she doesn't know what she's doing. Yeah, because if she didn't know what she was doing, that nothing would be possible. Yeah, it's yeah. just that she's not doing uh, this to say that, mm -hmm. uh, to say something, or yeah. to. She's not saying that they have to look here because if they look mm -hmm. here, it'll uh, have this and that meaning, and that we will use that for. It's just that she's in front of this woman. And this woman, she the wants, she has this desire to film her. It, I'm inventing, yeah. <laughs> and 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 she looks at her, and she feels that the 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 right way for mm -hmm. her to look is to look here. It's all a question of feeling. Oh, okay. I know that when people were asking her about our method, she used to say, "We have no method. We just we we just feel, and we film the same way." So. It's 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 important to try to say a little more, but it's it's when I say it's not conscious, I don't say that it's anything. It's just that it's not, you know. It's because um, we all uh, today the the relationship to image is very very different. It's uh, the images are very much used to uh, to uh, to show or to say something, and and we have the the. Um, feeling we have we think that we have to show everything and each time you see something and that or you want to remember or you want to share you you take your smartphone and you you take a picture and i do it sometimes too i mean it's not and 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 so the the image has this um role 
of uh, um, witness or uh, you know or uh, remember or uh, or share or show and in films uh, also it's like uh, they want you to show everything the producers you have to shoot this and the um, and that and that to show everything every part of the room and um, and and the the relationship of Chantal to images is not this one it's it's something which is alive and she trusts her feelings and trusts her it's 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 like um it's like when you you um paint a, um um a, a new paint a tableau a painting <laughs> uh, you 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 don't um want to i mean when you look at beautiful paintings uh, often you, there are things that are not shown there are hidden things and you look and you and you and you try to uh, and is it conscious the fact that the painter didn't show that or that it's it's somewhere else than than conscious or unconsciousness i think it's more complicated than that and sometimes i say unconscious because i go a little bit quickly but it's 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 there and and the, the the editing reveals that it's not inventing that. If it, if it wasn't there, it w the film would couldn't exist. I'm I'm not a magician. Yes, me again. Uh, I'm very interested in this idea of working with or through this mutual feelings. So how would you can you describe the process? Maybe uh, did you discuss the feelings then? Did you how did you talk about it? It was wordless. Um, I didn't really understand how the work then was looking in the editing room. So you were talking about a scene and then you told each other how you felt about it and then you would act upon it or You mean you when we it? discovered the I don't uh you you want me to to describe precisely how we were editing? Because you, you said um f several times that you were you based the decisions on the feelings that you had about the scene that you were looking uh, at them and then you felt in a certain way but since it's two of you of course you have to Somehow, yeah, but I, it's, it's, we were exchanging very simple words, I, uh, and and really feeling. Uh, it's true that it's it's difficult to explain this this kind of of uh, similarity of feeling, and complementarity also. But we we um, yes, sometimes uh, we were feeling that something was. Uh, too simple and some we had some words that we liked also for example i like i like to say that i want to i feel that i had to complexify complexify and complexify is not um, 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 get the make the thing more complicated it's just that it gets a little bit m less linear and Chantal liked very much this word and she she always used to say to me yes complexify a little bit and she would go away and come back and say so and but sh but her her f uh, the the way she was receiving the editing was o o as strong as the way she was filming and receiving the presence of uh, the presence and the present of what she was filming. So it was always very strong what, what she gave back to me. So the, the process was, if, if I want to make it simple, the process was uh, we are looking the images together and we are sharing our feelings about the images. Some, I, I, I write, Chantal never writes anything. Um, but I write quite a lot, and I write with my hand, not with the computer, because the the, the what you write and the way you write it, and the, the even the place uh, in the paper where you write, it reminds you. Uh, it makes a link to remind you your first impression. It's it's uh, it's like uh, it has a, it has differences. Uh, because if you write uh, with a typewriter or a computer, everything is all the same. So, so all this that makes you uh, not forget the link to the first feelings is important. So I write, and I sometimes I put colors on my notes, and and then after at the moment we have to begin. And so uh, either it maybe it can happen that she says, "Oh, why don't we begin with this uh, with this." Uh, f for the l'autre côté, she the f the thing she said is I don't want to begin with a traveling 
because they will say she all she, she will again make a traveling uh, tracking shot film so not a tracking for shot at the beginning that was the, the, the indication so sometimes it was just funny and so uh, for I don't know if you've seen the, from the other side but it's it 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 it, it, it begins just with a story of a young 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 man a uh, young boy was telling his story very simple and it's like, uh, but for the, um, for uh, also the f the beginning of a film sometimes appears when we are discovering the the, the um, rushes. Sometimes you see an image and you say, oh, that could be a first image. Uh, of, of course, I'm talking more about documentary and. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and so after when you have to begin the editing, you, you, you go and see that, that those images that you thought could be maybe a first image. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a moment where um, I often need to be alone for a, a, a certain amount of time because you are very shy and you are very uh, uh, afraid of doing something. It's like, you know... Uh, okay, now you've seen everything, and so what? <laughs> so sometimes you want to um, you want to do it alone, or sometimes uh, I, I it happens that I begin something before we finish to see the images because I have a feeling, and so I come earlier in the morning and I begin and I see if something is possible. I'm not talking especially about Chantal; I'm talking about how I begin. Um, and and um, so and to come back for Ch with Chantal, so we look at those images and share and a note, and then after we begin, and then um, uh, we talk more and more. More the film grows, more the words come, and 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 we can say what it leads, uh, what it uh, tells us, what where does it lead us? For for this film. Uh, we didn't talk much until the end. I'll tell you when we begun to talk after. But um, for, I have uh, for for the the film Laba down there. I don't think you're showing it here, but it's uh, for me. It's a beautiful film. We are. And, we are. Oh, you are yeah. great. Um, who's uh, talking about it? Because Lalive yeah. Melamed, yes, no, an, an Israeli um, scholar who teaches here. Oh, okay. Um, and and I, we were looking at the images together, and uh, that's when I was talking before the screening about some names. There was names of this film: the neighbor um, with the plants, and the woman with the cigarettes, and was this film. And uh, we were looking at the rushes together, and we we felt that there were really st very strong moments and. And and we were very happy because when Chantal came back from Tel Aviv, she wasn't sure there was a film. She just told me, "Come and see. I want to. Sh uh, I want to know if there is a film." She had this voice. I mean, this text from uh, on one side and uh, the images on the other side, and she didn't know. And and uh, and one day I began to look at the the images, and and she wasn't there because she had uh, an appointment. So I I, I went on alone. And I didn't feel anything anymore. I th I thought the images didn't talk to me anymore. So I was very afraid, and I was telling m myself, well, um, maybe I feel things because she's next to me, and when she goes <laughs> away, I don't feel anything. So is there really a film? I it was very uh, quite a difficult time. It lasted like two hours, and in the rushes there is a phone call, and. And a man answers the phone call and says, uh, no, Chantal is not here today. Um, she went in an appointment. I'm doing some images when I'm waiting for her. And so I realized that I was seeing images from somebody else. So that's why I wasn't feeling anything. And it's not, it's not that it was bad images, really. It not, wasn't bad. It was just not talking to me that 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 much. So when she came back, I told her the story, and of course she was uh, very happy. <laughs> she said, I do good images. No, she was proud to say I'm the best. And, uh, sometimes joking, but sometimes she liked it also. She liked the story really. <laughs> okay, kind of wrapping things down a little yeah. bit. 
just qu very quickly, you mentioned in the beginning uh, a word uh, supreme or superb, superb or was it? Superb. Oh yeah, it's Which the I'm it's the now. it's the shot where the, where there is snow uh, and there uh, there is a uh, many there are many people. It's in front of a theater. And this this shot it was very difficult to put it in the film. It was for us it was really a jewel, and it was difficult each time. It it the film rejected it, and we thought that maybe it wouldn't be in the film because you have to be ready to not to put your darlings, as uh, they say. <laughs> No, really, and and also you have to be ready not to put your darlings, and you have to be ready to build a film uh, around something which is missing. It, that that's very important in in editing. You work with what you have have you, and you never uh, ask for more. You don't say you didn't go and and film this. It, how c do you want me to show? Go and film this, and you just if he didn't or she or he didn't go. To film this, it means something, and and a whole film can can be built around something which is missing. So sometimes one f one image which is not in the film can be also central. I mean, this image, if it wasn't in the film, could have been very important for the film. Yeah, but I, yes, um, I was wondering about when we talk about these feelings, if there's a sort of underlying prescription in that sense of like, what feelings should they be? So when we, when you talk about beauty um, and being in awe of the images, or you talked about tenderness, um, is, is this sort of what also should translate to the audience? Because while I felt all of that, I also felt an acute sense of boredom. Of? <laughs> um, of boredom, of being bored at times and I don't mean that in a negative sense at all I mean that more in the sense of how you also Mark also talked about it's making us acutely aware of time and the passing of time and so um, I'm not entirely sure if there's a question in there but I guess um, I'm wondering about the feeling rules of this kind of method so is Oh yeah, because you say that. It, 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 uh, yeah, I, I understand. Because s since you th feel that there is this uh, feeling of being bored or s feeling the time, you're wondering how we can work this and ov overcome this feeling. Is that the question? No. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm kind of wondering. Like in my viewing experience, I don't really accept the boredom. I kind of question myself and, uh, like ask is is that an inadequate feeling should i should i be in awe of the image or is it okay to feel bored at this time um and i wonder if that's something where in the editing process because you spoke about that moment of you didn't feel something at that one time when you were alone mm -hmm. so did you feel nothing or did you maybe just not feel tenderness and Oh, and you like mean when when there was the, those images of the the uh, not made by Chantal no, it's just that it, it it didn't talk to me. It didn't. I didn't. I didn't feel it was part of the film. It's. Uh, but I. I. I'll be right back because I want to read you a, a, a small text of Chantal about that. I think her words are, are stronger than anyone about um, those. The, the question about time. Hello. Just just keeping your attention. Sorry. Uh, oh, that's okay. No, it's fantastic, Claire, that I you have this. I have my glasses now. Uh, can you talk to me? Okay. <laughs> um, I was actually going to ask Claire um, mm -hmm. about the fact that in the installation, because if we think about that, that that um, Chantal Ackerman was was commissioned to make, had the money to make an installation, but then there wasn't enough to do it, so then she made the film first. That's what we heard. But then when she then went afterwards and made the installation together with Claire, it's 24 monitors. So it's, it's um, and she actually does include her voice um, in the installation. And that's something I, I wanted to just ask Claire about that decision because we, like why she would, because in the film, she's so incredibly present, but simply feeling, looking, hearing, but in the installation, she decided to add this um, extra element of 
of her voiceover, um, at least in, I think, believe in just one of the monitors. Um, that was gonna be my final question of the evening um, before sending you away. Uh, I'm sorry. No, 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 Clara, I think it's wonderful that, 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 I mean, my question, I guess, was was bringing the evening to a close with Chantal's voice, and, and that's what you're doing anyway. No, no, but it, it, I, don't, I don't think I have the text that I was <laughs> uh, thinking of. Hmm. But we, we actually have quite... No, but it's, uh, I have another one, but uh, it's, uh, it's not this one I want. Excuse me? No, 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 no. How many people saw this film oh, yeah, here it is. for the first time tonight? Ah, most people. Ah, fantastic. Claire, most people saw the film for the first time tonight. Oh, really? Yes. So th th that's uh, s um, so that's for you. And if the shot was there only a few seconds, only the seconds that would be enough to make the narration go on, would it have the time, this shot, to evoke all those women and even those men sitting at the moment or another of their lives? No, I'm sure not. The time is not only in the shot. It also exists in the viewer who looks at it. He feels this time in himself. Yes, even if he claims he's really bored and he's waiting for the next shot. To be waiting for the next shot, it is also and already to feel that you are alive, to feel that you exist. It makes you feel good or bad, it depends. Mm. So, I think it's, it's uh, I love this text. Mm -hmm. And I think it's better, I mean, it's, it's a better answer than anyone I could make. Because <laughs> it's, you know, it's, you don't have to feel anything, it's just... Uh, that's yeah you can be bored and i've seen the film many times sometimes i'm going out and sometimes i'm just stuck it's and the process of editing you're not receiving the film exactly in the same way and i i i did um um, um you heard heard your question hear your <laughs> question uh it's well yes uh i was telling you from the beginning that 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 uh, we didn't talk that much and especially for that film for other films we talked more uh and the words came more easily for this film there is like something uh i i remember that uh i was frightened of something and 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 i knew there was really a mystery in those faces and in 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 this time of uh, people waiting that that was too too uh, too heavy too 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 uh, too grave too, um, too serious serious or, or to 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 mention even <laughs> I remember the, the 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 exactly the the place we were when we were editing we were editing in sixteen millimeters um, and 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 I remember there was it was it was um, a mo a moment that was. Um, like uh, not heavy but um, uh, ritualistic something um, we were touching something very important but I didn't really know what and I didn't feel I had the right to uh, uh, we had the right to ask ourselves what it was um, and so you ask us how we uh, began the film. I think it was um, more. Um, it the, the 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 film goes deeper and deeper in something that we didn't name. And so it was obvious that we had to begin w with the sun and the m music and the, the 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 and to to get deeper and deeper. We couldn't go directly to uh, the faces and the long... Well, I just felt that was something very, very, very uh, serious, grave. And, uh, but we, we, we didn't say, or oh, those faces that made me think of this or that, or never. And then the film was finished, and then we had um, 
the 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 it was made uh, for the French TV actually. It was supposed to be screened at eight o'clock at French TV. It did. Uh, the, the 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 one who uh, the the head of the um, the uh, Arte uh, the director of the program of documentary had a b bad time with the director of the Chen Arte because uh, it was not possible to show that at eight o'clock but he it, and um, uh, we've uh, he told us that it was an, a film elegiac we didn't really know what it was but we got to know the film more because people were telling us things about it and then there was there there, there was this installation and so i uh, began to talk to you a little bit how we worked to do for, to build the 24 uh, screens monitors and then all of a sudden um we thought that you know when you edit a film uh, you edit from the beginning to an end so you you build something that goes from one point to another. When you work on an installation, it's all in loop. So there is no beginning, no end. And we had the feeling that it, we have only the 24 screens, I mean the monitors, something was missing. We had to get to something after those 24 minute monitors, after. Even if it's in loop, there is something after. That's why uh, Chantal always liked to say that I was wor editing and doing the editing and spatialization uh, for the installation, because it's editing in a space. For. And, um, and so we began to think about a 25th screen uh, monitor. And the 21st, uh, 24 first monitors we edited quite quickly I don't remember but like I don't know maybe three weeks but 25th uh, I mean I mean I think maybe seven eight weeks because it wasn't possible we thought that we needed words but how uh, First of all, we, f we filmed, uh, Chantal wanted to have the second commandment, so we filmed it, commandment to s that says that uh, you uh, don't have, you can't uh, make images. But it was in Hebrew. We thought it was beautiful, but we realized that nobody would understand anything <laughs> and that it was supposed to be understood. So, well, and then after she thought that she would speak, but how and on what image? Well, that's the 25th screen and when the words of Chantal appeared. And all of a sudden those words appeared and then we found an image which is a more abstract image than the film. And that's the image uh, I brought for you now, if you want to hear and look. Um, it's a six minutes? About, something we like that. Are you up for six minutes after midnight? <laughs> Woo! Of, with wonderful. So the twenty-fifth monitor. Thank you, Claire. I hope you understand her English. <laughs> mm. Please join me in thanking Claire Atherton. Thank you, Claire, so much for coming and for your talk. Thank you, Mark. And uh, thank you all for staying so long and uh, participating. And I would like to remind you, we are screening DEST again next Wednesday at 6 o'clock. So in case you want to see it again, I recommend to other people to come. So on the 19th of December, we're showing the film again. And um, yeah, then our next lecture will be in January, January 17, if I'm not mistaken. Last lecture for this semester. Um, e no, oh, next, for, for, next, yeah, 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 next. yeah. So next year in January, we will meet again for the next lecture, and uh, we'll see. You, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Claire. Thank you, Mark, for the amazing. Thank, thank you all for staying. Thank you.